You hear that? You know what this is? That's the train to Skagway. Yeah. We are talking all things Alaska packing, as you can tell. We have gear, we have clothing, we have stuff to show y'all today. Okay, let's start with gear. Gear. I thought, gear. I oh, thought, what are we starting with? I thought we Mr. Were gonna, MC. I thought we were going to start with unisex. <laughs> Anybody want to have unisex? We promise this is a family live live show. Yeah, we're talking about gear. Get up out of the gutter, people. We have women's clothing, obviously, as you'll see behind us. Which I do not and wear. And we have for the record men's clothing, as you'll see behind us. Which I do wear. Right. And then we have, as JJ said, unisex items. And so that's how I labeled it on our no sheet. And he said, unisex. Unisex? <laughs> what like, is it? <laughs> unisex, babe. It's like, you know, yeah. either sex can wear the earmuffs. Yeah. They're unisex earmuffs. Right. So yeah. let's let's move to earmuffs. How about that? A lot of these, y'all, depend on what time of the year you are going to Alaska. So if you're watching this in preparation for a 2024 <laughs> May, June, July, <laughs> we're going in September toward the end of the season. So it's going to be colder. And then if you go at the very beginning of the season, I think, which is April, it, it's going to be colder. Right. You go in those um, middle chunk months. Seriously, I've seen people that are like, it was sunny and we were wearing shorts walking around Sitka. So Juno, I hear, is most always at least rainy, if not rainy and cold. <laughs> so probably take rain gear no matter what time of the year. But, you know, things like earmuffs and that kind of thing um, might be dependent, especially all this war really warm weather gear, might depend on what, where you go. And also... The most important note is at the top of the sheet, JJ. Check weather before you pack. Check the Check, weather. Let me say it two more times. Check the weather before you pack. Okay, earmuffs. These are called 180s. Can you see that? 180. Yeah. Yeah. 180s. That's this brand. And we got them in. Why is it 180, Sherry? Because it goes. <laughs> They're not 360s. They're not 360s. Because that would be a blindfold around your head. So we got them in black and gray. You want to model, JJ? Sure. I mean, I wore, I, I modeled the cold weather stuff the other yeah, the last video. You did. Here we go. So turn to the side so they can actually see, you know, and it goes all the way around. And then they just fold up, together fold and go up, flat. Hold up. Yeah. That's what you call so, unisex. There are other brands, obviously, of these. JJ has linked Everything below for y'all. I cannot, and I am not. No, and you will not. My disclaimer. Endorsing any of these items, as JJ can tell you, some of them we've tried and some of them we haven't yet. And he can tell you the ones that he likes and highly or partially or not at all recommends. I am not recommending or endorsing any of these products. However, he has mm -hmm. listed all of them that we'll talk about uh, down below. Links below, folks. And if we talk about any others that aren't already linked, we will link them after the live. What's next? I need some socks to warm my feet. Hey, hey. Okay. These are JJ's new socks. Are these compression also? They are. Okay. These are winter compression socks. And they come up how high for you? And you're six foot. They come up above my calf. Yeah. Up, up to your knee. Yeah. Yeah. And they're compression. Up, compression right and they're wool. Below my kneecap. Yeah. And they're wool. Yeah. And these are either men or women. So they come in, I think, like small, medium, large, extra large, whatever, yeah. you know, per your foot size. As long as we're talking socks, I'll go ahead and show you. The well, there wool. you go. There you go. So they are regular smooth wool on the outside and then super soft fleece on the inside. So they are wool socks. These are obviously are shorter, as you can tell. Right above my ankle, you know, like calf. There's, there's your heel right there. So your ankle yeah. will be right there. They come, you know, mid, mid calf. I have come home before it got super hot and thought like my feet were cold. And so I put these on. They are super warm. Like my feet got too hot. It's almost impossible for my feet to get too hot. I'm just telling you. Women, these are specifically women's. And JJ links the things below in sections so i think it actually says unisex and then like men's and women's and gear you know so these socks that i'm showing you will be under the women's section next what about my fleece blanket 
the talk was online, y'all, and you'll probably see if you join a Facebook group for your Alaska cruise, like your specific sailing Facebook group, people will be talking about the Alaska blanket that you can usually order on the Royal Caribbean website. So you go to the Royal Caribbean website, it's a blanket, your Alaska cruise, it's a blanket. And it says, you know, Royal Caribbean, and it's blue and white, and it is $85, $90, plus I think you pay shipping, obviously. Yeah. So. I was just like, I am paying ninety dollars for a blanket that I'm not going to use again because I don't have blue and white in my you house. You mean you don't want to pay a hundred bucks to advertise for Royal oh, Caribbean? Man, instead of paying ninety dollars for, we got this Royal, one for four ninety nine for the not quite, but it seriously was like twenty five dollars. It is Sherpa super soft and fleece on the other, and this obviously goes with my house because I have neutrals in my home. So I thought, how about I pay? How about I pay $25 for a blanket? We can take it with us in the compression bags that I'll show you here in a second. Man, you are letting everything out of the bag early. And out of the bag. Get it? Bag, get it. And use it on the balcony when we're looking at whatever is out there. Because I hear when you go around the glaciers that you're and you have a balcony room, you're going to be out on your balcony at like 5 a.m. looking at the glaciers and you'll need this. My friend who just went, I don't know, but a couple of months ago, she was like, yes, bring a blanket. And it comes in lots of different colors and designs. One of the designs is like dark red, maroon and white and has like reindeer and snowflakes on it. So mm. they have winter design. You're going to need it out on your balcony when you're looking at the glaciers. How about my binoculars? Yes. Get my binoculars. Okay, Here you go. Let me you see my binoculars. Binocular? I want to see... These are Uncle Who, H-U, show them the brand name. Yeah, so Uncle it's Who. Over here. Can you see that, folks? I don't know if you can see that. Yes. Uncle Who. And it comes in this very nice. Carry, carrying case. Carrying case. Yeah. yeah Wait a minute. Little, let me see. You know, let me Velcro see. Velcro closure. I want to see if this works. Can I see y'all out there? We've used them, you know, out in the yard and that kind of thing. I'm a bird watcher. It, whether it's these or some other pair, y'all have a pair of binoculars and one person at least one person in the cruise groups has said both of you need to have your own pair because she's gonna fight to use mine these are like 47 dollars right now and right. i think they're on sale right we also have a small pair of bird watching yep. binoculars they're about that big that's probably the second pair that we'll take that's what sherry will use hey mr mc what's our next item oh wait we gotta move on to the Compression bags. Oh, yes. Gotta Here's get my compression, compression bags. bags. Okay, these I got from Mike or Cruise Vet Adventures website. Yes. Alming is the brand. And in this pack, you will get nine bags. Correct. Different sizes. Small, medium, and large. Yes. Three of each. So just for size difference. These are the large, <coughs> right? Correct. And these are the small. And so you put your items inside. So you, it's a step through. You want to read the instructions, JJ? Can I read? I, I don't know if I can see them. Where Three. are they? Right down here. Oh, pack. well. Wait a minute. Number one, first thing, you got to pack. Pack. Okay, after you pack, what do you do? You. Zip closed. Zip closed. Yep. Then what do you do after that? Then you. Roll. Yes. Press and roll. Press and roll. Press and roll. Then you store it. Yes, the yeah. instructions are on there. On the back. It gets to this, you know, rolled. So you stuff the air out and then you can roll it up. You roll it all the way up like that and then you stick it in a corner of your bag. So um, our our puppy vest coats and things that we'll show you here in a second are going to get compressed. Oh, wait a minute. Now to clarify. What? I heard puppy coats. Pu P U F F as in Frank Frank. Okay, puffy. Because I thought I don't. She didn't tell me she's bringing the puppies. Oh, that we're compressing the. the that dogs. would not be good. These puffy coats. Oh, look, it's so new. It still has a tag on it. These packable puffy items. You roll up, put in one of those compression bags, and suck all the air out. Push. Save you room. Push. In the push bag. the air out. But roll remember, the air out. The weight of your bags, if you're flying will be the same. This coat, whether it's uncompressed or compressed, weighs the same. Correct. Right. You'll be misled 
because this will be much smaller. And so you will put more crap in your suitcase and the whole bag will weigh more. She right? just, she just used the crap word. Uh, <laughs> family friendly. Yes. What's um, next? Uh, multi pocket over the door oh, organizer. Now this isn't Alaska specific y'all, but, but I wanted to mention it because this is one of JJ's favorite if pieces. If you're a cruise newbie, you cannot go on a cruise without one of these. And the one that JJ <laughs> linked below is a mesh pocket. And let me tell you why that's important. You bring your plastic a shampoo bottle and you put it in here if these pockets are plastic i don't need shampoo you know no you don't or conditioner they'll stick okay so the mesh these mesh pockets i think make all the difference as opposed to you know well, plastic. you hang this over your bathroom door inside inside the door your bathroom so it's not in your seen cabin. from your cabin right so it's hanging on the door and you're in the shower and you just reach out and grab the shampoo bottle because, you know, right. if you, you haven't ever cruised before, the bathrooms are very small. Yep. And so the door is right here yep. and the shower is right here. So you'll just reach out and get your stuff. Right. Actually, we have an entire video on cruise gear. We will link it below. And it's got a, this item along with a bunch of other just generic cruise items. In fact, items one through 17 of that video that's linked below and is cr like cruise essentials, cruise gear essentials, 25 plus two bonus items. The first 17 items on that list are any cruise. The ones after that are like beach bag and, you know, like waterproof, whatever, whatever, it's specifically for like a Caribbean cruise, but the first 17, any cruise. So you can go look at that specific cruise gear video. Next item, the USB charging station. Oh, yes. Okay. We just got this one recently because our other one hit the ground and broke. It, it got broken. <laughs> it, yeah. And so this is a new one for us and it is this brand. Again, JJ linked all this stuff below for y'all. It's only a USB port for us and our gear now this is sufficient we don't really need three prongs however the next item is going to be another uh one that will add three prong plugs for you us plugs. well it's coming up yeah but this is a good um cruise compliant we can plug in 10 different yeah. devices yeah 10 different slots one two sweet three, ten. sweet so and it's just <clears throat> straight plug in there's yep. no on and off and there's no surge protection and that's the key no surge protection you cannot have an item that is surge protected and take it on a cruise stand up they okay. will seize it what's the next gear item mr mc one of the most critical pieces of gear yes for any traveler who yes. flies the scale luggage scale scale luggage scale luggage scale again not <clears throat> alaska don't... specific but almost everyone has to fly to alaska so that's the brand of this scale. You hook this around your suitcase handle. There you go. Hook it and latch it. And then, That's the suitcase then you lift up on the bag. And it tells you the weight. And it tells you the weight right here. So and we do that. We use our regular scale, just like our bathroom scale before we leave the house. And then we use this obviously before we leave the ship to come back home because we don't have our bathroom scale in the cabin. That's and, one thing we're not carrying. And I know the weight is what, over 50, 50 pounds? Is it over 50 pounds? Yes. <clears throat> so I don't go over 49 because they could be off a pound and you'd be in trouble. Yeah, we get a little- uh, Cushion. Cushion at home. Yep. What's the next item? We got some magnetic, magnetic hooks over there somewhere. We do. Magnetic hooks. This is the brand of the, these. But again, these are 40 pound capacity hooks and that's how they're packaged. And you just, these are the hooks themselves. Yeah, they just screw into screw the back of the magnet. the magnet. And they are so nice. If you're a cruise newbie or if you've cruised you know, before and you've never used these, they are very nice. The cabin walls are metal. Look, look gotta be able to. Yes, okay. for anything, basically your hats, a, ta a damp towel, your purses, your bags, damp your umbrellas, t-shirt, I mean, your robe, anything that you need to hang, 
need an extra hook for. Keep it up um, off the flow. The uh, EU oh, yeah. plug adapter. So the other adapter we were talking about that would give you more three prong plugs is an EU adapter. If you've ever cruised before and you see those round plugs with the two holes, <laughs> that's an EU plug. And this, yes, is an EU adapter. So it goes in that little round thing that us Americans have no idea what it is. <laughs> so it goes into that. This particular one is no longer available on YouTube. I mean, on uh, Amazon, but it has two, uh, three prong and then two USB. So JJ linked another one for y'all below. That's very similar. I sheeted. It, and it is available. Right it is now. available. It, it has USB and three prong plugs. So right. this will give you more three prong capacity in your cabin. Yep. Listen, notice, notice, notice. Put any, 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 any extender item that you have in your checked luggage. That's for sure. The port workers do not work. They don't for the work for the cruise line, line so they, they work, may not know. They work for the city, like this would be the city of Seattle. It would be the city of Galveston, the city of you know, um, Ma Fort Miami. Lauderdale or Miami right. or wherever. They so, don't. They don't know. All they know is that this is an extender and those aren't supposed to be allowed on board and they'll take it. We've had it happen. Ourselves. Better safe than sorry. And yet we took another, we've taken another one on at least 10 cruises in checked luggage and it has never even been questioned. Yep. Never taken, never asked about anything. Next item. Next item. Compact umbrella. Oh yes. <laughs> be prepared for the weather. Alaska specific. Be sure for Alaska, just stick these in your backpack wherever they don't take up a lot of room. The caveat is if you have, if you take rain gear, like you plan on having a hood, like a rain jacket hood and your, you know, waterproof gloves and you're all buttoned up. Well then why would you need an umbrella? Right. Good point. Right. You Good don't point. necessarily need an umbrella. So, so all I got to do is take my poncho. You can make your decision or a plastic poncho. Yeah, if you want to stick that, well, that'll be about this big, right? right? Poncho. In your bag. Poncho. So if you just want to do that, that's an option too, and you don't have to carry an umbrella. So that's completely up to you if you want to carry something small, like one of these compact umbrellas in like your, you know, your carry-on bag, yep. your uh, backpack. Or if you're just taking all the rain gear, then you may not need these. Copy that. Okay. Copy that. Gear. So now we're moving to... Cozies. Hats and caps. Hats and scarves. Scarves and thermals. Okay, so we went to New York City anyway. in 2020. Anyway, yeah. but then 20, did we go in 21 or 22? 22. So we went twice. And so we needed, you know, we live in Texas, y'all. So we needed warm winter gear. These are, uh, were yours warm? Yes. Okay. So we bought these for New York City, and I'll just say mine are warm. This is the CC brand. Yes. Yeah, right. And again, JJ linked these for y'all below. And the infinity this scarf. This is an infinity scarf that See, goes I knew, with the hat. I knew All that. kinds of colors, ladies. Well, I guess guys, too. I mean, CC is a brand for both males and females. Is that one of the unisex things? Yeah, I guess it could be, yes. But they have, like, bright gold and they have orange and they have green and they have blue. Every color that you could possibly want. <coughs> and this is one of those longer infinity scarves, ladies. So I didn't feel like I was being choked, you know. You do know it's 105 degrees here, right? Oh, boy, do I. But, okay. you know, it's kind of warm. It's kind of longer. So you can pull it down and then just snug it up, you know, around your coat With your collar. jacket. Yeah, with your jacket over over you but it's not like all up here you know like some of those infinity scarves are not very long and you feel like you're they're right up here on right you. vicky she called customer service they're putting extension cords and water in their room for absolutely vicky that's a very good tip. that's a good tip yeah very good tip and they will always do that for medical purposes uh, every time i mean yep. you don't even have to question in fact even if you forget and you get there Carry on your CPAP machine, people. Yep. Okay. If you forget, they can check it out at the port 
and see that it's a CPAP machine. And then when you get on board, you ask your room steward for distilled water and extension cords. And they'll provide it. Completely. There won't be any questions asked. Yep. Um, it is better, though, if you'll go online under special needs, the special needs form. And let them know in front, up front. Yep. Just let them know. Yep. And then your room steward will know, hey, I'm going to need distilled water and extension cords for these guests in this state room. next week. Yeah. And it may already be there when you get there. Could be. I need a beanie cap for my beanie. Okay. That was, this could be, this could be male or female stuff. I think these, these, uh, CC brand no, male can't. things that no, I showed can't. you. However, this is specifically more, you know, male. You could try it on. No, no, I don't want you to go on. This happens to be the Blower brand. That's a Blower. But JJ linked a, another brand for y'all below. That's just a generic guy beanie, warm beanie hat. Is scarf on there too for guys? Well, of course. Of course. It's, it's a unisex item. Wool, merino wool is the best, or pashmina like is super soft. <sighs> JJ likes this one because it's soft. It is, it's not itchy. Yeah. It's soft. It's not like acrylic itchy. Yeah. You know? And so he linked one for you guys. <laughs> That is super <laughs> soft and you know long, like for wait, wait, wait. the size of male. Yeah, yeah. Cash mink. Cash mink. Yep. So it is. Cash mink. <laughs> so definitely, you will need at least if you're cruising in a month that it's going to be cold in Alaska, a scarf and a hat and gloves. You will need a scarf and a hat and a gloves. I have seen. People leave comments that they brought their gloves, but they didn't bring a hat and a scarf, and mm. they regretted it. So be sure that you – I mean, you know, I'm taking a couple of options, you know, because I had them for our New York trip. My wife is a fashion queen, if you haven't figured it out. However, don't tell well, her they're going to see later my fashion faux pas that I'm, doing, that I'm wearing for them today. Women's thermals. Okay, thermal underwear. Take them, take them. Take them, take them. The ones that JJ linked below are not this brand. However, they're very popular and very, they have like a lot of likes, right? Yep. A, lo a lot of stars. The ones that he linked below are called like Con Therm Thermogene? Something like that. Yeah, the brand. Consumers is. are very happy. Because these were no longer available on Amazon. So it's slick on the outside so that it doesn't stick to whatever pants you're wearing over them. In fact, I wore these skinny jeans to New York City. And I wore these underneath them. Right? With no problem at all. And so, you stayed warm. Yes. The clothes just uh, slide it, right over. And then inside. And it was January in New York. Yeah. Inside is like fleece. They're fleece lined. Yeah. Not for, not super thick. You know, it's not like fuzzy fleece. It's soft fleece. It's so, soft and comfy. And I happen to order the pants in like a black and a white. You can order two. You know, just to have more than one pair of pants is, is really why. And, I'll, and then I ordered one shirt because we'll cover some shirts here in a second, like for your base layer. But thermal base layer is is good so ladies and men um i don't think he linked any men thermals but like guys tend to have yeah. thermals more than we do like jj already had his thermals probably well, from riding depending on where they're going guys don't even use thermals right probably from your motorcycle days uh, trips i've been on yeah motorcycle trips yes definitely just bring your thermals and if it's warmer when you get there then you won't need them right that's really the number one theme motto for Alaska is layers. Be prepared for layers. If you learn nothing else from this video. <laughs> if you have your thermals on and jeans, well, obviously you're not going to be taking your pants off. But I would hope have, not. Then you have a thermal shirt base layer. Then you have a... Um, like we'll show you here in a second, this, you know, you have, you're, getting, like you're getting me off track here. I know. I'm just tell, talking about the benefits of layers. Then you have something like this over it, like a quarter zip, you know, wick away shirt. And then you have a flannel button down over that. And then you have your jacket. So guess what? If it's warm on the day you're in wherever Skagway, take off the you, flannel you, button down. You peel the layers. Yeah. Okay. Men's base layer shirt. These are... Real essentials. And they, they'll be linked. 
it's either a set of two or three and they come in different colors so if you want like a light blue more like a like a baby blue you know it mm -hmm. comes in that color but this would be your base layer would either go over your thermals okay or this would be <laughs> this would be your base layer alone okay uh, because it's wick away your base layer needs to be fairly close to your body because it's supposed to wick away moisture sweat you know whatever on your body so they look very large i don't know why they look so large you're these are extra large i'm a big boy but they fit him pretty well you know pretty close he didn't want them skin tight in case he has to go down to that last layer like in windjammer or whatever on the ship he didn't want like a skin tight you know i don't like skin tight thermal, stuff right i don't like showing off my muscles polyester actually is a really good wick away material i, I started watching all these layering youtube videos and so these guys who like camp and fish like seriously like mountain climb you know out in the cold they get they get and they have been doing this for decades they give their advice on you know how how to dress in layers and what the benefit of each layer is so that layer that's close to your skin can be some kind of polyester or synthetic synthetics are actually best he said if you can get like a some kind of wool he was talking about. Yeah. Not, not wool, wool, but anyway. So synthetic and polyester is a good base layer. So what's next? Polar fleece pullovers. Yes. Those are the set of two. Yes. The Okay. These also come in a set of two. These have front pockets. Yep. We had two. So if you saw these, these base layer are extra large, right? And fit him still kind of loosely. Is this the same brand? Yes. That's, this is the same brand. These are 3X. So, and we had to send them back because the 2X was too small, you know, for it to be a- It was too tight for my liking. To be a middle layer jacket, these were too small. So you're just gonna have to try them on and then return them. So, and these are also quarter zip. They also have the full zip for you guys who want, you know, Prefer. Yeah, who don't like to pull things over your head in the middle of public and take your clothes off. Well, I, I don't have to worry about messing up my hair, he so it's, it's not a big deal. But he liked these pockets. He could put his a uh, CPAS card, right, or whatever you know. In. Correct. We need a men's puffy jacket and a men's fleece vest. Oh, okay. Puffy vest. I'm sorry. Puffy vests. Puffy, puffy jacket and puffy vest. Yes. This is the puppy jacket we showed earlier and we were talking about putting them in the compression bags. These have pockets and you tried this on and liked it, didn't you? I did. Yeah. It's just black. It comes in a couple, like maybe a gray and a navy blue. Not a whole lot of colors, but a few different colors. And it comes with its own bag too that you can pack in this bag. So it'll easily go in a compression bag because it'll, it'll go small enough to be in this bag right here. So this, of course, would be your top layer um, or your next to top layer if you have a rain jacket on top of this. So this would be your warmth layer because it's got down in between these layers, right? So again, we're talking layering. We're talking if you're outside and it's raining. So you would have this on. And I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with the rain jacket next, okay, because it kind of makes sense. Yep. So yeah, because the because the vest goes underneath that jacket. A vest would, but I'll and I'll get it later. This would be for warmth, right? Because it's got down in it, and then this is a rain jacket. And JJ really liked this one for some reason. I don't know why. Wind Rider. It's lightweight. It is just water. It is waterproof. It right. is just for rain. It right. is not for warmth. Not for warmth. <laughs> Do not be deceived in thinking if you buy a windbreaker, it's going to keep you warm in Alaska. You will regret it. So this is a layer that would go over like your down layer. That's your out outside layer. Yes. This would be your outside layer. If it's Assuming raining. it's raining. Yeah. This this is rain resistant. I mean, this is water resistant, clearly. If it's if but it's if it's waterproof. If it's raining, I'm having the jacket on. Yeah. Yeah. This, he read the descri the description of this and just really like the description because the way that it buttons up and zips up and snaps protects up, my neck and the hood has got a hood I mean, in it. Says, it and it uses the word waterproof. And it's breathable. Yeah. And it's got Velcro right. on the 
So it even keeps the rain right. out from that area. Right. Okay, so then the vest he just talked about is new. And this is more for your wife, men, because it's like, yeah, it's kind of, you know, got a design inside. <laughs> that look he just gave me says, I don't care what it looks like inside. Is it going to be warm? Is it a color I like? That's all it cares about. But women, I thought this was pretty cool. You know, like we check it inside. It has zip pockets on the outside and it zips up. It's a plastic zipper, the same color. And let me see if it had pocket. Oh, yeah. It has a pocket on the inside also. Right there. This came in several different colors, I believe. So, again, JJ linked those for you to look. Okay. Then we have police vest. Where are we next? Men's lightweight packable puffer jacket. I think you already looked at we that. We already did that. Uh, men's gloves, thermal. Oh. Touch okay. screens. Touch okay. screen. We should have done that when we done when we did gloves. I forgot about that. Well, I know. My writer, you, my writer didn't. I think you wore these in New York. I did. Okay. Wear those in New York. They are. And they were excellent. O zero. O zero, is the brand. And do you remember how well the touch screen thing worked? They were excellent. Okay. And they come a little down to the wrist. They, over like, over yeah, the wrist. Put, put it on your hand. Over wrist. Model that. Sure, baby. <laughs> he told me, I'm not modeling anything. And I was like, you can at least on your hand, right? Sure, baby. Over your wrist. So then your jacket would, you know, come up here. Yeah. So you could keep out the cold mm. and still. And it's got the touch screen, <gasps> touch screen finger. Yes. You got to have gloves. It's the same as the hat and the scarf. You have to have we gloves need, for Alaska. Need. What's next? The vest? We didn't do the the fleece vest for men. This one is Columbia. Oh, these are both Columbia. Yes. Um, and I think, I can't remember the brands that you linked below. Oh, I think they're um, Amazon Essentials, actually. But he likes these two. And these are these are Columbia. I like Columbia. Navy, Navy and a gray. Okay, what's next? Are we done with men? No, we're going to have to move to a second show because now we get into the women's stuff. Cozy cardigan. Oh, okay. So this came in several different colors, ladies, and it has pockets. Okay. And it actually, you can button it or not button it. And my thought was with things like this, like skinny jeans or leggings, leggings are not on my list of, like JJ did not link any leggings below. And, but it's kind of like uh, you got to take like regular socks too, right? Wool socks, of course, are Alaska specific, but you got to take your undies, right? That's why I didn't like link leggings because leggings are like take leggings. I mean, you can wear them on sea days. You can wear them into port. Um, it's like know, I don't under need, your jeans, maybe. It's like taking your toothbrush. I mean, you yeah, just, I don't you need to do put it. a toothbrush on the list. You, you know, to take it. a toothbrush. So these is, you know, well, like cover your bum. You know, you got leggings on. Nobody wants to see your bum. So <laughs> lots of different colors. It's like a cable knit, as you can tell. Cable knit and lots of different colors. All right. Okay. Women's base layer shirt. Base layer shirt. I ordered this color in blue and like an olive color. This would be like in place of the thermals. So it would either be the thermal shirt or this. And Depending these, on how cold it is. Yeah. Th this came in packs of two and, you know, each set is a different color. Like again, this came with an olive and then you'll have like a black and a white or you'll have like a burgundy and a black or, you know, the different sets. So this was a nice base layer. I like a V-neck, but if you don't like a V-neck, you prefer like the round. Yeah. Just the round neck. There's a name for it and I can't remember right now. So, but these, this is a good um, idea for the base layer is, is, is non-negotiable. You got to have a base layer. What's next? Women's three in one waterproof coat. Mm. Okay. This is my new purchase y'all. Yeah. Cause we don't need this stuff in Texas. Well, sure. not this part of Texas. For sure. I was a little, <clears throat> This has nothing to do with the, the product other than it's just the color. I was wanting white, and I think it may have said white. It's like a, ivory. Right. But it's kind of like ecru, eggshell, ivory, whatever you want to call it. But since I'm not going to be wearing it, you know, 24-7, every season, every day, I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to return it. But it did come in several different colors. Like, it came in like a, a light turquoise, 
blue and a pink, maybe a yellow. I can't remember anyway. So they call it three in one because it has this outside jacket that is thinner and is rain, a rain jacket. Okay. It has pockets here and it has a breast pocket here for like your phone or whatever. And then this comes off and this is your puffer. This is your warm down insulated layer, right? Pockets. I can't remember if it has inside pockets or not. Uh, I don't see any inside pockets. So you can wear this all by itself, or you can wear the rain jacket all by itself with a removable hood. This hood comes off. So if you just need the rain jacket, it's not really cold, but it's rainy, right? So this is one, this is two, and together is three. If it's cold and rainy, then you have your puffer and your raincoat. Three in one. That's why they call it a three in one jacket. So, um, you if you're going in those outer seasons to Alaska, like April, May, or September, it's going to be cold. We're not. It's going to be cold. So bring a a big jacket. Right. And I think the three in ones in general are a good idea because you got cold and you got rainy. All in one. Long, puffy, packable coat. Okay. This was another New York City purchase, right? It's almost the same as JJ's, but it was, it's longer. And I'll show this to y'all because if you want a longer jacket to keep a little bit of your legs warm, I thought that was good. I wanted it a little longer because for those jackets that are, you know, short up here, like then all of this is cold. So I like that this was longer. It's got pockets on the outside and also the inside on both sides. Came in handy in January in yes. New, New York, didn't yes. it? Yes, and it has <coughs> a hood. A hood. <coughs> and it scrunches up. I got it in a gallon size bag. Okay, what's next? This is a long thing here. What is this? Okay. Woman's fleece lined wide, wide leg oh, yoga yeah. pants. Confused about what kind of pants to take y'all, right? Because I'm not a, I'm not a super big jeans. I'm not a winter jeans wearer. I don't know why. Well, because I work all the time. So and then I come home. So I found these. They're they're thick yoga pants with the wide leg bottom, but it's like a pair of pants, right? That you can wear with the hiking boots that we'll talk about in a second and it's fleece lined. I don't know if you can see that. Yes. It's that thin fleece material. They have them in black. And as you can tell, it has pockets on the front too. It has these pockets and it has the pockets on the back. They come in black <coughs> and khaki and gray, I believe, are the colors. I'll do the other pants now too. Okay. So well, this, this is another pair of pants that are just a basic khaki. Lee, these are khaki Lees. And again, I'm not a, a huge jean wearer. So if you're not a huge jean wearer, this is just a basic, uh, I got them in black, but I mean, they come in actual khaki color, you know, the tan color. And I think they also may come in gray also. And they, um, for me, they fit pretty well. An option. So take, take pants that you can wear into court that you can wear thermals under. That could be jeans. If you're a jeans gal, hey, knock yourself out, you know? If you if you like different options or if you want something different for dinner because a, an Alaskan cruise MDR vibe, that's the word I keep saying used, is much more um, uh, downscaled. It's not as fancy. It's not near as fancy as Caribbean cruise. So khakis for dinner in the MDR for women, it's fine. This is what I was going to show that I sacrificed fashion. Oh, I sacrificed fashion for the viewers. Because if, can you see, I'm wearing. <laughs> 105 degrees outside. And she's got <laughs> Canadian winter boots on there. Uh, I'm wearing the boots. These boots. If you need a winter boot. I can testify that they're awesome. <laughs> I got these for New York City. Okay, they are the Dream Pair brand. 
JJ and Winkler. They're linked Winkler. below. They've got this kind of duck, you know, duck waterproof thing <sighs> on the bottom here. And then this is material. And then like for their fur line. I removed the insole out of these. I can put them up here too. I removed the insole out of these. There you go. Here, let me help you. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? I removed the insole because we were going to be walking around New York City, which we ended up doing like one day was 20,000. <laughs> no, it was average of 20,000. If you're looking for a winter boot that's tall and I sacrificed my fashion sense for wearing them with a t-shirt. <laughs> But these are skinny jeans too, and these are linked below as well. JJ yes. links these because they're high waist ladies, and they have these three buttons here. Um, so to wear with like your boots, the skinny jeans are good because then you don't have to worry about tucking everything in. If you're walking around port, if you're going on an excursion, you can wear your thermals as your therm as your base layer, then your jeans, then your winter boots. Okay, I got two for one in there. I also linked a, uh, JJ, I'm sorry, linked a pair of just regular Levi's. Again, if you're not a usual jeans wearer, I wasn't, so I had to buy some Levi. I was like, I just need to, a regular pair of Levi's. These are straight leg. Jeans are good because if you're going out, you can put your base layer under them. Or if it's like semi-warm, you can just wear your jeans and they'll be, they'll be pretty warm, especially if you have a jacket on, you know, over, over your pants. Okay, what's next? Plaid long sleeve shirt. Okay. So again, we're talking second layer. Layer, layer, layer. Over your base layer. Just a thin flannel cotton. JJ linked, I think, two different ones below. And, and the this best. Is, this is just a, a, an idea, ladies. You know, you can even wear a tank under this, for again, for layering. I've been hearing that the ship inside is very warm. This is Ovation and Quantum. I think the, the fashion part of it is cute, but they're also thin flannel, and so they're going to be warmer. So you could wear like a tank or a t-shirt as your base layer, this over it, and then some kind of puffy vest. Um, and JJ linked a couple of vests down below as well. For Again, for layering, a basic, this would be your second layer. So you have your... Um, maybe your thermal shirt, and then you have a sweater over. And this might be for going into port and walking around, maybe, you know, shopping, eating, you know, sightseeing, you know, that kind of thing. The This is an Amazon brand, this is an Amazon brand, and this is another brand on Amazon. Anyway, JJ linked these down below. So they're, they're kind of, uh, they're not big puffy sweaters. And so again, they're gonna keep the heat in better um, as opposed to the big bulky sweaters that are going to take up a lot of room under your coats as well. So like your puffy jacket is already going to be uh, voluminous, if you will, puffy, puffy. So you can put your base layer on like your thermal and then put this over it and then put your jacket over it. So some things that are good to bring. Okay. So these are items that we don't have linked below, but that as I've been reading about, you know, going to Alaska, that people who have gone have said, slippers with a sole on them for the balcony. If you have a balcony cabin or higher, um, slippers with a sole because the floor of the balcony is cold. Makes sense. It's outside 24-7 and you're in... Alaska. So the floor of the balcony is going to be cold. So if you wear those slippers that are just material, you know, and you can feel the, the it just like basically covers your socks, like another pair of socks, your feet are still going to be cold. So take a pair of slippers with a sole if you have a balcony. Also, this is an extra. Okay. This is an extra on our gear video too. A door magnet. We ordered these door magnets from Vistaprint. It's an idea for your door for decoration. You know, people, you can go to Etsy or wherever, you know, people have all kind of door decoration ideas for your cruise door. This is a magnet. Actually, it's a car magnet. I can't remember what size this is, but you can put any kind of pictures. You can put any kind of words. You can put anything you want on there. And it also helps you find your room <laughs> because this is on the door. It goes in flat in the suitcase and 
it goes on the door first thing. And then when we're unpacking, I take it down and put it back in the suitcase. It's very easy to take. And it's something that's one piece. So you don't have to mess with all the streamers and the magnets and signs and all this stuff. It's a one piecer and they're not very expensive. I think this one was like $30 close to out the door of the tax and shipping too. The other things that are good to bring, right? Leggings I already mentioned that women we're not covering it. JJ did the link in below, but Leggings are letting leggings take them. You never know when you're going to need them. Maybe under your jeans or just walking around on a seat. I know I never leave home without mine. Hope not. Um, hoodie. If you're not a, <coughs> if you're not a, you know, a sweater button down girl, bring a sweatshirt, bring a hoodie for sure. Because you will need them to walk around the ship on sea days, again, going in and out from the deck or whatever. And if you have a t-shirt or whatever underneath it, you can just take off the sweatshirt once you get inside and it's room temp. Layer, layer, layer. No problem. Yes. Layer, layer. So hoodies, um, I see a lot of recommendations for hoodies and sweatshirts or even the, the zip up hoodies, you know, like the jogger hoodies zip up. That's easy to take off ladies. You don't have to like, you know, then do this in the wind journal. Oh, I forgot the other pair of shoes. Waterproof. Those are my favorites. Yes. These happen to be Timberland. I think JJ linked a Timberland. That's a, that's a, that's a great shoe. Waterproof shoes, y'all. That's a great shoe. Be Got a sure. nice tread. It's comfortable. It's great. Look at that. I'm nice and warm. <laughs> be sure that you do not take, well, you can, but you're going to regret it. Your summer mesh tennis shoes mm -mm. in the rain or the snow mm -mm. or the wet. Mm. ground you will regret it because you will then have wet socks and wet shoes you regret it find a waterproof shoe of some sort okay for rain and snow and set etc because you just don't want wet soggy socks and shoes right i mean that's pretty easy that's doesn't take especially in the cold yeah yeah because then you're going to be cold and wet and soggy and it doesn't have to be a hiking boot but a hiking boot is easy these I think are kind of expensive, but I have had these, well, these are at least 10 years old. Well worth the investment if you travel to cold yeah. parts of the these world. These are at least 10 years old. I already showed you this pair. Yeah. Or you can get some duck that are just the shoe, this version, but that are a duck shoe. Right. You know, that are that waterproof shoe. Yep. So you can go and Google or Amazon or wherever you want to go right. for waterproof shoe. Right. So those of you who are new newbies to either Alaska or to cruising in general, check out our cruise gear video. Videos, yep. Also what I'm going to do y'all is, well, again, we'll be doing vlogs every day. So we'll be showing the ship. We'll be showing Seattle, uh, like pre cruise day. We'll also be doing a video at the end of the cruise of things that we did not wear things I packed and did not wear. I think that's the the catchphrase on YouTube. We will be taking shorts for him though, too, because if the ship is as warm as people are saying it is, I'll be living in shorts and tees. He'll be wearing shorts. He'll probably put on shorts with a flannel and a t-shirt. Maybe not even a flannel. And Depends. well, to go out on the deck. Well, I will on the deck because he'll be fine in shorts out on the deck. I'll be in, I'll be <laughs> on a flannel, right? Sipping my coffee from the deck. If you're not in our Facebook group already, be sure and go join the fun there. It's all things Wagner sail away crew. That link will also to the Facebook group will also be in the description box below. So, and ask us any questions in the description box if, if you're watching this after the live, because we'll be sure and answer those as well. Y'all have an amazing week. Blessings.